Hey there, Tim says his folks have lived in a nursing home for several years, and while they don't have COVID-19, their life is deteriorating because of it. They cannot get that initial camaraderie and the love and what makes a family a family. Timothy Dougherty tells us his frustration stems from slow to little progress since the pandemic hit. After four months and there's nothing in place of how these families can still be with their families before they are going. His mom and dad, both in their 80s, have been tested at least twice for the virus. And while they tested negative, it doesn't change the guidelines. It's taken a toll on all of us. It's been difficult to even get phone calls or even to try to get video chats because, you know, they can't hear, they can't see. With limited access for safety's sake, Timothy says it's heartbreaking for him and his siblings out of state. I tried to explain to my sisters and my brothers, I was like, it doesn't matter if you're here or not. It doesn't matter if you're a thousand miles away. We can't get in. We can't get that camaraderie to see them or even do anything. He understands it's for the greater good of those who live and work there. I can't say enough for the caregivers in there. I know they have families of their own and they're doing everything they can. But there's nothing that could replace the love of a family. Still, his heart is heavy and he hopes change in protocol is coming soon. I have no problem putting on a hazmat suit and everything you want. We're really coming down to the call is, is this how I'm going to remember my parents and this is how they're going to go out? Or am I just going to have to go break all the rules and pull them out of there and bring them home myself? Rachel Cole, 12 News.